they watch. <laughs> you guys shy where everybody watching from? What's up, y'all? <laughs> what is up? What is up? What is up? What is up? We're gonna get this thing cracking tonight. They can see us now, Sianna. Yeah, my little twin, she wanted to say hi to y'all before we get this video started. Yeah, she made me another plaque. She said, I'm gonna get to a million. You know, this is my encouragement wall right here. It's next to my other plaque. But yeah, she liked to see how this thing is done, y'all. Where everybody watching from tonight, though? We got a dope video for y'all here tonight, though. Cali. Yo, we got Cali. We got Cali. Florida. We got South Carolina. We got Iowa. We got Iowa, Boston in the house. Washington. New Yorker. Yep, Pennsylvania. New York. Yep. <laughs> we got Texas in the house. We got Sydney, Australia. Southern something, my Bob. Antarctica. You ain't in Antarctica. <laughs> Probably. Aussie. We got Nebraska, Jacksonville, Ohio. Oklahoma, Buffalo, New Ohio. York. Ohio. Hey. Canada. Mexico. Or, oh, what? Vegas. Um, um. Wichita, South Carolina, Maine. All right, we got everybody in the house. Hey, put those flame emojis if y'all ready for this video right here. Put some flame emojis. I got a video tonight. Look. Put flaming emojis, please. I, what we're going to do tonight, yeah. like I always say, don't believe nothing that you see in these videos. Make sure y'all going to do your own research. But things are getting a lot weirder, and we're going we're gonna to check everything out that's been happening that's been real weird lately. Yeah, put fire emojis. Fire. Put them flame emojis if y'all ready. Please. A hundreds. Okay. Make sure y'all smash Trophies. that like button on y'all way in, too. Fire. Yeah. Or flame emojis. Oh my gosh. Yep. My eyes. All right, so we about ready. Y'all ready to get into this? All right, Siani. I'll let you after this. I'll call you when, it's, when we about done. Yeah, she want to do YouTube too. She, she love everything about it. She just be sitting here watching me. She be in my office all the time, y'all. <laughs> It's crazy, but all right, let's get into this video, though. Like I said, man, this one right here, I don't know if y'all been paying attention to the, the weird anomalies and stuff that's been happening around the world, but like a lot of people said, that shit was going to start to happen not on that day, and which I, I knew that too, but at the same time, it's getting a lot strange out here in the world, and we're here to talk about it. Not believing everything, but we're just here to talk about it. We're going to see a lot of be people's different uh scenarios and what's going on with everything that was recorded. I don't know if y'all hip to what was going on, but... Y'all about to get hit. Let's get into this video. Make sure y'all smash that like button. It's free. I, I I seen the mug in my comments talking about some, oh, you trying to play us to hit the like button? You're going to get paid from it. What? First of all, what does that mean by anything? First of all, and, and, and second of all, we don't get paid for likes. It just helps the algorithm. Like, so correct yourself before you start to jump to conclusions. Do your own research, like I always say. <laughs> but yeah, let's get it. Here's to the crazy ones. The misfits, the rebels, the troublemakers, the round pegs in the square holes, the ones who see things differently. They're not fond of rules and they have no respect for the status quo. You can quote them, disagree with them, glorify or vilify them. About the only thing you can't do is ignore them because they change things. They push the human race forward. While some may see them as the crazy ones, we see genius. Because the people who are crazy enough to think they can change the world are the ones who do. This is going to blow so many of your minds. Okay. Pay Watch only the people in the white. I'm about to play a video. This is the selective attention test. Only count the number of passes between the people wearing white, okay? Only 50% of people get this correct. So I'm going to play the video. Watch this. Count only the white, okay? And pay attention. Okay, here we go. Remember, count only the passes for white. See if you can get this, okay? Pay attention.
Okay, how many passes did you get? The answer was 15, but that wasn't the test. The test that's gonna really blow your mind is that there was a gorilla, play it back, that walked straight through the middle and you didn't even notice it because you were busy counting how many passes the white people were passing, right? And this is funny because this is a little bit how the media work. The entire country was no, just no. gaslit. Let me explain. Let me start by saying the ones on here that are attacking the people who had predictions for the eighth, I would say y'all are way, way worse than they are. At least they use logic, rationality, in their brain. We're gonna go through a lot of stuff. Notice his eclipse thing though, 33.3 million at 33,000 reshares. Like I said in my videos, it was a time to repent and y'all failed. But what bothers me the most is the massive gaslighting done by the people who run America. The news literally said that there's going to be an earthquake on the 8th. And not just this, but Saturday Night Live ran a skit about an earthquake being on the 8th. And it's not over yet because we've got the eclipse earthquake coming up on Monday. As Deborah Ross was telling us, it's going to be a transformative experience. The news was the one telling you to get food, gas, National Guard was going to be there, and all this other stuff. ...for an earthquake. Check out SNL last night. And on top of all of this, we had NASA warning people not to take videos on their phone camera. I wonder why. Wait, I've seen a lot of things on here. <laughs> That's not the devil's comment. It was rain. And there are people who recorded multiple portals in the sky. And of course, we had these black blurs flying through the screens, and people said, oh no, there are airplanes. Here's the problem, if there's an airplane, you would only see it in your direct area. People all across the world or all across the United States would not see a plane in front of the sun by your area. Yes, you would. Here's a different one in a completely different state. And I saw a video that had two of them going by. They were everywhere. Then Research the Earth put this out a day or two, or a day before the eclipse. Huh. I said in every single one of my videos and lives that nothing would happen on the 8th. Because historically, we see from the evidence that nothing ever happens right when it happens. 1811 is three months later, there's earthquakes for four months. But since y'all are grouping everybody together, especially the ones that just gave you real factual historical evidence, I'm gonna stand up for them and say, y'all are doomed. You will follow the masses wherever they go, even when it's off a cliff. <laughs> Taiwan, China, a different place in China, Indonesia, and another six in Indonesia. Selena, appreciate it. There's been big earthquakes all day, and guess what? It's not slowing down. Anybody else been paying a lot more attention to that since all this April 8th news? Hey, we're getting to that. I told y'all, look, we building. We building so you can see the full picture. You know, I remember about five or six years ago, I was at work talking with a co-worker, and I don't remember how the subject come up, but he told me that space was fake. Didn't even exist. Made up concept. Easily one of the most ridiculous things I've ever heard come out of anybody's mouth, and I've told him as much. Said, I've seen pictures of space, Earth, satellites. I can look them up right now on Google. Well, he asked me to when I did, and every single photo he was able to point out in the metadata CGI image. So that was interesting. Not convincing, but interesting. Anyway, that dude did plant a seed, and because he planted that seed, I started paying attention up at night, daytime, started doing some research. Well, because I started doing research, my For You page, you know how TikTok works, became inundated 
with information of the kind. Now there's a lot of junk. I don't pay attention or swallow it all whole. As soon as I hear someone talk- Hold on pause, bro. No diddy. And about lizard people, I keep scrolling. So back to the April 8 stuff. Several stargazers, people that own and build their own telescopes, private people, not funded, have come to the conclusion that the moon is nowhere near in position to cause this eclipse. And if you go back and look at footage of every other eclipse, you can't see the moon coming or going. You just see the light of the sun become disrupted in a circular pattern and then not. Nothing coming or going. So if the moon isn't in position to cause an eclipse, what's causing the eclipse? What's caused all eclipses? So I'm going to get my head out of the way in a minute so y'all can screenshot this. But I do want to point out, what's that symbol look like to y'all? What does that symbol remind you of? And that symbol is based all off geometry. Degrees. Degrees. What are their degrees of? You know, the Hindus would call that two extra lunar nodes. Supposedly they're siblings. But the Masonic secret keepers would refer to that as a black hole sun. So why hide extra celestial bodies? Well, to hide extra celestial bodies hides where you live, and to hide where you live, hides God. Now, I couldn't care less how many followers I lose over this or about y'all's opinion of me. But with all the information available to us now, plus your own eyes and the ability to look up and pay attention, if you can't at least feel the need to take a look at it, it just proves what a great job they did at deceiving. Masters of deception. Five years ago, I would have considered myself your average American person, going to work 60 hours a week, paying taxes and raising a family, just like I was told to do. I saw a video yesterday of a, what seemed to be a 10 year old girl that had the guts to tell the whole internet how she felt. And I've been hiding it. So I'm letting y'all know how I feel. And I feel like more and more average folks like me are starting to see this. I feel like their lies crumbling. Hey, look, before we go into that, do you see where I'm talking about? You see what I'm showing you? More and more, and that's what, I mean, you know, when they got a group full of workers that's being obedient and doing what they told you to do, you know, the biggest fear is the people waking up and figuring out the system in which they're trapped in and that they don't have to be trapped in. And all the information that you're being fed, not to say that you shouldn't believe some of the stuff that they said, because some of it is right on purpose. Some of it is very misleading. Just so you can be trapped. And just so you can be reliant off of this, their information and what they say, because a lot of stuff we see, the math ain't mathing. And we're a lot more intelligent now than ever before. I think so. But that's just my opinion. But. You know, the biggest fear is everybody waking up and you don't be obedient of their system. We're going to keep building. I'm going to show you what it's resulting in in real time, what they're actually doing and saying. This video from Mr. MBB333, where he's talking about this big rogue wave, or if it looks like it's like 85 feet tall, that originated from Antarctica. So, long story short, found myself here in the coastal inundation dashboard <laughs> on the NOAA website and all of these are like red and flashing so if you click on any of the red ones they're all flooding are you guys okay because some of these may experience flooding over the next 48 hours like way inland um maybe experiencing flooding but the ones that are are further inland it says over the next 48 hours maybe experiencing flooding all of these all the way up the coast dude looks like it is flooding in may experience the next 48 hours 
may experience plenty be experienced and what is happening it feels like normal because look it goes all the way down into florida is doing it too y'all can go check this for yourself too don't just, don't just blindly believe this and FOMO in, you know, like, go look at this stuff yourself and see for yourself. Experiencing significantly elevated water levels. Are you guys okay? East Coast, Florida. Oh, I guess I already clicked on that one. Let's try Cape Coral. Look like to sky.com. Hope everybody's okay. Inquiring about this anomaly over here at ventasky.com. This is the email I got from Kelly O this morning at 9.42 a.m. Asking, is the dark red object an anomaly or a freak wave of 85 feet coming from the Antarctic Ocean? It's traveling up through the Atlantic in the coming days. So I, I got to looking myself over here at ventasky.com. I've used Ventasky for many, many years, and it's normally a very reliable source of information and here's what I found I went to the feature under waves significant wave height sure enough there it is and we're gonna go back in time and take a look at when this thing originated it first appeared on the map over here at ventasky.com and it does appear to originate from the Antarctica area deep down in the the southern hemisphere on April 9th the day after the eclipse of 2024, around 2 p.m., and here we go. I'm going to step it forward three hours at a time. There it is. Shows up in the southern Atlantic Ocean, implying that there is a very large field of waves measuring 83.7 feet. And I couldn't help but notice the interesting shape of whatever is going on down here. More strange energy showing up in various places around the world. So I'm going to step it forward another three hours. It gets bigger and it gets bigger. We're going to step it forward another three hours, 11 p.m. on April 9th gets even bigger. We're going to step it forward again. Now we're into the 10th and it is 2 a.m. Much bigger, uniformly moving to the north. Three hours again, still moving to the north off the south. 5 p.m. on the 10th, 8 p.m. on the 10th, 11 p.m. on the 10th, and you can see now it's much bigger, showing a wider field. In fact, we're going to measure this area and get an approximate size of what's going on here. But this is at 11 p.m. on the 10th. Now we're stepping it forward yet again, 3 hours, 2 a.m. on the 11th, and then going from 2 a.m. to 5 a.m., it disappears Sister, off the map. It. I think what we're dealing with here is a USO, not necessarily a rogue wave, but some sort of a large rogue object that was sending signals as if there was an 80 foot plus wave out here when all along it possibly could have been some sort of a large underwater craft creating these wave anomalies. That there are technologies at the South Pole Station that people can't even consider that exist on this planet. Like what? Directed energy weapon systems is something that people need to get into their vocabulary fast. The ice cube neutrino detector is not simply a passive listening device as presented for the science that they're claiming it to do. It also has the capacity to transmit. There are um, embedded in the ice what are called digital optical modules, DOMs. They're about the size of a basketball. The array embedded in the ice is one kilometer by one kilometer by one kilometer. It is the world's largest telescope and now because we have proven that it can transmit, it's the world's largest directed energy weapons system. In 2010, I was selected to go down to the South Pole Station in Antarctica for an entire year by Raytheon Polar Services as an employee of a third-party contractor for the National Science Foundation. 
I function in a dual role capacity as a tradesman and a firefighter. My responsibilities required me to be more informed than most of my crew and offered me complete access to the facilities. What I learned from this unique experience needs to be shared with the entire world. The technology at the South Pole Station certainly can do what it has presented as its primary purposes and unfortunately much more. The Ice Cube Neutrino Detector is presented as a passive listening device for the purposes of the science as presented, but I'm going to skip right through the chase, folks. I have provided documentation that proves that the 5,160, what they call DOMs, that are embedded in the ice can actually transmit at 2,047 volts each. That gives us a long list of things to consider. It is effectively a multifaceted directed energy weapons platform that I will uh, list rapidly a few things that it can do. Vehicle detection. We're learning that these off-world craft, on-world craft, ours or other nations are also emitting neutrinos. So this makes the South Pole Station effectively an air traffic control station for this new level of equipment that nobody's discussing. Imagine a wave tall as a skyscraper barreling towards the east coast of the United States. Sounds like a Hollywood disaster flick, right? But this isn't fiction. Recent studies reveal irregular seismic activity in the Atlantic Ocean, a menacing sign of a potential mega tsunami. The power of a mega tsunami is colossal. It could turn skyscrapers into rubble and wipe out entire cities. The wave, reaching heights of 100 feet at the shore, would cause unprecedented damage. This isn't to incite panic, but to awaken awareness. The threat is real, but so is our resilience. We've faced nature's wrath before, and we'll be ready again, because preparedness, not fear, is our best defense against the unpredictable power of nature. Stay informed, stay vigilant. Release the Kraken. Well, good, because this is, uh, <laughs> this is, this is an extraordinary and, uh, and such a dangerous moment in our history. Release the Kraken. Literally, I seen y'all in the comments talking about that. Look, I got y'all. You feel me? Your boy got you. That's why we vibe together. You feel me? That's why we vibe together. I got y'all. But it's a lot of different theories on what that can be. It can be an ice cap or something like that that came up from the bottom. Maybe it's the bottom ice. I don't know. Some shit. We, we, we haven't discovered everything on this planet. But I do know once, because NASA used to be in the ocean, right? Once they figured out what was down there, nigga, they went to the sky. What prompted them to do that? It was something down there. <laughs> it was something down there. Scared the shit out of them. You feel me? So I, I get it. You know, but it could be, I'm not saying it's one thing or the other. It could be anything. Just know at the end of the day, man, you just have to be prepared for what, what, whatever comes our way. Simple. We're going to keep building, though. <laughs> this video is for select of you. Shalom to each of you that's here. I mean, no doubt. As you can see in this video, the water is rough. Do any of you know what's going on in this water? Look at this water. What's going on in this water? I ain't never heard nobody. I ain't never heard nobody call water say water like that though. It's kind of throwing me off. <laughs> this water. This is going too fast for you, and you missed it. Let's go right here to about thirteen seconds. You know, thirteen mem water. Thirteen seconds mem water. Thirty third book in the Bible, Mika. Hold on. What is that right there? This video has been on social media platforms, probably across the globe. Why has no one of billions of you mentioned this coming out of the water since you're talking about so many things? 
and point. You yeah, how you saying that shit? Like, W O T E R? Like, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> point at that. Look at that spaceship. Look at the spaceship coming out of the water. None of you don't oh, have nah, to listen to this and pointing at it. But wait a minute. Look at that big thing coming out of the water right there. Y'all didn't point at that either? What about that spaceship? You didn't point at that? I tell you what, everybody hold on. Everybody hold on. So this comes out of the water. And all of how many of you on the planet is talking about all the stuff you see, ships and everything you see, but you don't see anything. You don't see any of the spaceships. You don't even know your time is almost up. You about to see a lot of ships, all of you. Trust that one. This information isn't for everybody. For the ones that's talking crazy and I can catch it, you block quick as I get on it. Those are the ones who gonna be left in the dark, bagging, pleading for God, and ain't gonna be able to hear nor see. Yeah, they already came harassing me, talking crazy, all that. I don't care nothing about that, cause we gonna put our foot right on their neck. Like I told you, step on my toes, I step on your back, straight up. And we coming out here with them, just showing you what type of games they was playing. They already knew what time it was. Remember when I told you how those things come through the gates, how these mass bodies come through the gates. There's several gates under the water. I can go back and pull that video now and do another one on it now and break it all the way down. But like I said, I don't see it as necessary here because for my people, day ones and the ones who've been rocking with this new page here for a long time, if you've been here, you know my background. Ex-federal employee, I have no reason to lie to you. 100% I'm standing on God business and I don't care what they got to say because they let this happen. They let this happen. But they had nothing to say. Keep God first. The wind is so strong in Cape Town, it has reversed the tide. No waves. Picture. I've never seen anything like that ever. Look how massive this thing is right there. It is so massive in the sky. There was another picture. See, this is the one coming up. There was another one. This one came up too, right here. This, uh, this is the same one, shoots straight up in the air. And then look at this one. You can tell that there's a ship in there. There is a ship in there, a great big ship. Could possibly be a massive UFO, but I don't think it is. These are not normal to be seen. I, I would usually be like, yeah, I don't, but I mean, how y'all feel about that? Y'all see that? At all. They're coming out of Mount Etna Volcano. You can see it right there. They're coming out for the solar eclipse is what they're coming out for. Um, and they're trying to hide it. They, I can't go online. This is the first day. All the days you want to take my OBS studio away from me is when I can share the screen and they don't want me to do it too bad. Too bad. I will get up on here and I'll do this <laughs> because I can. Because I can do this. And I will do it. I will. I don't know what they were talking about this morning. Um, I was going to record the whole entire thing, but I couldn't. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I think I just saw one. There's one right there. Are we going to catch it? Let's catch it. There's one going to come up around here. So we'll wait for that one to come on the screen. This, if you're just tuning in, UFOs, massive, massive UFOs are coming out of Mount Etna. And they're not even trying to cloak themselves when they come out. They literally, they're shooting straight up, straight up like that with all the um, thrusting and whatever they use. Just shoot straight up, just like that. I'm watching. Right, this video was recorded on a door camera and the funny fact about this, I believe it is 100% true because I've seen a similar object about five years ago. It wasn't at the same speed, it was just floating. Now, how many of you know about the object in Greenland? A couple of you, okay. Well, would you, for those of you that don't know, 
there is a spacecraft that has melted out of the ice in Greenland. As you know, the North Pole has melted completely. You can go from London to Moscow or to Russia by going over the North Pole now. All the ice cap is gone. The last place that has ice on it was Greenland. Greenland had a 18,000 foot ice cap on it. Well, the spacecraft that is anchored in the center of Greenland created the last ice age 50,000 years ago. It's a weather machine. It's 55 miles wide, 300 miles long. Hey, ain't that shit what Rashad Jamal was talking about? And two miles high. People Same. that lived in it were called the Moys. If you draw a straight line from the spacecraft to the Washington Monument in Washington, D.C., through the Yucatan Peninsula Great Pyramid at Mitsubishi, that ends up on Easter Island where the Moys have been dug out of this dirt. The heads on Easter Island? Well, two years ago, they finally went ahead and they excavated, and they're all 85, 65 to 85 foot people, full body carvings. And these were the people that lived in the spacecraft that was uncovered, that's melting out of the ice in Greenland. So when you think you, we've been alone, these people have been up there for 50,000 years. The spacecraft is still active after 50,000 years. It has a 200 mile dampening field where no electrons can flow into it. In 1947, a B-52 bomber flew into that pattern into the dampening field when trying to fly between Maine and London. As a result of that, they lost power and crashed in Greenland. As they sent in rescue B-52 bombers to rescue them, they hit that same dampening field, but they, they, they veered off. They just ricocheted off of it. By testing, trying to get to these guys, they were able to go to 200 miles together. Point is that we're not alone out here in this universe. I'm telling y'all. I'm just saying. Not right. Can you feel it? I'm just saying. These, these shits is well put together. Look, man. Like, I don't just be throwing this shit together just throwing y'all a shit patty of videos. Like, go ahead and smash that like button, man. Like, you can go look this stuff up yourself. <laughs> it's just very public, but, but don't believe everything you see on the internet either, man. You got to really, like, make common sense out of it, you know? Some of the videos got low sound. We can't do nothing about some of these because they're already on there. You can turn up the volume on them, and it's, it's just only so much you can do with these, be real, with some of them. So some of y'all, most of us don't have problems. I go back and listen to the videos, and I'll have problems. It might just be y'all headphones, y'all device, y'all might need to upgrade. I don't know. Before we start, as always. But you can still hear them, though. Everything don't just need to be blasting, though. But all my so I just got done watching my friend Colette's video where she caught the sun looking very odd and windy. I'm gonna skip this one right now. Since where it gets until then. Taking place on Ventu Sky. I don't know what this blob is here, but it's coming from what looks like Antarctica. If we backtrack a little bit, you're gonna see a dis- Never before seen storm on radar. They are classifying it as a 80 feet wave tsunami with extremely strong winds. With waves of 83.7 feet in height. What in God's name is this thing moving out of Antarctica, as you can see, and then it moves up the coast of Africa into the Atlantic Ocean. Watch this as we move into Wednesday. Wednesday the 10th, Thursday the 11th, which is today. This is going on right now. I don't know if these waves are actually hitting the coast or if this is some sort of glitch in the system. But I've never seen anything like this. This giant blob is showing 83.7 foot waves. This does not seem to be any sort of storm system. Let me zoom back out here. Let's move forward and see where this thing is projected to go. Watch this. Here's Friday the 12th tomorrow. Moving more up the African coast. Here is Saturday the 13th. We can see it start to wrap around the northern western coast of Africa. Time as far as temperature. And we're looking at this very odd anomaly coming out of Antarctica. Now watch, I'm going to backtrack. I'll show you where this thing begins. We'll go all the way back to Monday the 8th. This is where the anomaly... Now y'all tracking to see how it's hitting our coast and why it had the indicators for flooding. All right. Just saying. It begins and sometimes it glitches out. It's very weird. Here's Tuesday the 9th and there it is. Pops right up. It's almost like this thing shot out of Antarctica and up towards the African coast. And as we backtrack in hours, we go to 5 a.m., 8 a.m., 
11 a.m., 2 p.m., 5 p.m., 8 p.m., and that's where it pops up between 5 and 8 p.m. This thing does not exist, and then it does exist on Tuesday the 9th at 8 p.m. After that, it just slowly moves up into the African coast. Here is the 10th once again, Thursday the 11th, Friday the 12th, Saturday the 13th, Sunday the 14th, Monday the 15th, and then Tuesday and Wednesday, this thing bleeds all the way into the Atlantic Ocean. My friends, what are we looking at here? I'll dig into this some more and bring you whatever information I come across. Here is a follow-up on this Antarctica anomaly. That's not the only thing going on. We also have a significant event going on on the west coast of South America. I'm going to show you that in just a minute. But again, this is the anomaly here that came off of Antarctica. There's a theory that an iceberg may have released off the bottom of the ocean on this part of Antarctica and rose up to the sea surface, causing these anomalies to be picked up by Ventu Sky. Now, again, we can follow this thing all the way up into the Atlantic Ocean over the next four to five days. It's very, very weird. You can see it right here, 83.7 feet. And we'll come back to this, but look at what's going on in South America. And I want you to look at this here. This is our National Data Buoy Center. This measures tsunami buoys, big waves, earthquakes, things like that, and shows us what's going on with our buoys. If we click this one right here, you can see the information is showing that just overnight last night into the morning of the 11th, this buoy dropped over 2,000 meters, almost as if it snapped off the buoy and the sensor dropped to the sea floor. But keep in mind, this is right off the coast of South America. America. And if we go ahead and look at the wave height for this area, obviously we have the anomaly coming off Antarctica, but then over here, there's not much going on where this buoy went off. In fact, it's about right in this area here. We do have a little bit of upper waves here, 10.5 feet, nothing to be scared over. But what caused that buoy to drop out of nowhere over 2,000 meters? That's another thing I don't think I've ever seen before. I'm always checking out these buoys. Every hurricane, every earthquake, I come right here to check them. And now this one is the one right here, right where we just checked the wave heights, which is about 10.5 feet, a drop of over 2,000 meters. That's insane. That's almost a complete fail of the buoy. I'm surprised it's even in event mode and not taken offline completely. But there is some weird stuff going on in the South Pacific and the South Atlantic Oceans right now. Both are very close to the continent of Antarctica. And I gotta say, this is just something I've never seen before. This mass moving off of the coast of Antarctica, possibly a big iceberg. And this is the forecast of waves that are gonna be caused by it. If there is any truth to this, this is something to keep an eye on. I think it's something that's interesting regardless of whether it actually takes place or not because we're looking at the 15th, 16th, and 17th here and we can't even forecast weather that far ahead of time. So to see these waves in the Atlantic like this probably won't happen exactly like this but the fact that it's being picked up and the fact that it was seen by this website right here, this dense anomaly that definitely came off the coast of Antarctica one thing we can learn though from the history of us even watching storms like you know how we watch the hurricanes and how they hit the land and stuff they never happen the way they say that they're going to happen they can't fully predict that you know like oh a category five hurricane is coming then when it hit land it's a, it's a number one <laughs> and then you get nothing but like only person that only place to get hit hard is like florida and, and texas and shit like that but it, you know it don't really affect everybody else like that and then when it do hit them you know it's only the people on the coastline but it's better to be prepared than nothing, you know, and I do think this is weird activity by I don't know what it is, but I think it's definitely something strange going on. A iceberg, right? All right. So what they say, whatever happens below happens up top, right? Happens above happens below, right? So if the we already have videos where we can, you know, we put it together and it seems like the firmament is cracking. They're making sounds and, you know, they've been trying to crack it. Operation Fishbowl. Go look it up. But uh. If it's happening below, right, they didn't set off bombs in the ocean. We know that. That's what they do in the sky and in the ocean. If they crack the shit down below, is it cracking up top too? I, that's my question to y'all. Y'all let me know. Shit. <laughs> if you don't know how to swim, you better, hey, you better be, better be working on it. Jennifer, I appreciate you. All right, my friends, what is going on? And just to verify, the only earthquakes that have taken place within this area near Argentina was a 4.3 earlier today. Nothing even close enough to cause a buoy to drop nearly 2,000 meters. All right, my friends, I appreciate you all. Keep an eye on the X channel, and I'll talk to you soon. Take and like, what can make a buoy drop 2,000 meters? Imagine something grabbing you and pulling you 2,000 meters. Like, you feel me? That's crazy. Care. Bye bye. Antarctica plays a really big role in in the world, man. It's the only continent literally blocked off from everybody, bro. This shit is closed off, and there's something that's called the Antarctic Treaty. This treaty pretty much is like another law. It's like a bill. You're pretty much saying if anybody steps foot on this land, nigga, you going to jail for like ten years, bro. You going to jail and you paying a fat ass fine. Why the hell 
can another human being claim a land, a whole fucking continent, and say nobody else can come here? Like they created that continent. Why is it banned? Why can't we go there? Um, the government actually answered this question for us. And um, it goes like this. They want to protect the environment and wild animals. Antarctica is split up in different regions and different places like a damn pie. If Antarctica had no significance and it was just there, why the hell does so many different places and so many different governments want a piece of you will get a fine and up to 10 years in prison just by stepping foot? Make them low, says God. But the Lord says that there shall be a wind, an unusual wind that will begin to howl. The Lord says that it shall come upon the east coast and up and down the eastern seaboard, says the Lord. But God says that you will hear the reports in the news that there is an unusual wind that shall begin to blow over the next 31 days, says God. But you will even hear about it that strong winds have come. And the Lord says this will be your sign and you will know that I have sent my Ruach to blow throughout this nation. That they shall come left of the surrounding cities to itself the waters of my judgment will overflow that rebellious city by the sea and there will be not much left of the surrounding cities and so this is to new york and new jersey pennsylvania to maine vermont okay. connecticut you, rhode island massachusetts and new hampshire all these states will suffer the after effects of the new york tsunami and when all is said and done it will be counted as one of the worst natural disasters in American history. And then the Lord repeated these states, New York, New Jersey, and the city of Philadelphia in Pennsylvania and Vermont. Those are marked for a particular judgment. So I People can find water with dowsing. That's another one too. We've talked about this. There's unlimited right water, unlimited oil. Unlimited gas all underneath us. I douse him. We could find that. You can use a hazel stick. You can use copper. You can use brass. You can find exactly. unlimited water. And somebody just sent me a video yesterday of a friend who found water in Australia pouring out of the desert. Fish coming out of the desert. Reason being, because that's what's below. All this water and life is below us. But it's another myth in which we have been told that we're running out of water and you need to preserve your water and don't use too much water. It's a myth to keep the mind controlled in a scarcity mindset. It's a tactic. That's all it is. And primary water is all underneath our feet. There's so much water. It's not even funny. The book, New Water for a Thirsty World. And it relates to abundance. That's what the biohack mom just said. Abundance is our birthright. Exactly. Abundance is our birthright. We don't need to live in scarcity. We don't need to live in fear. We don't need to live in, you know, I can't get better. I can't be healthier. You know, I can't regenerate my eyes. That's a whole big one. I can't heal my skin. I can't heal my body. These are all dead jellyfish you guys what is going on all of these look at this I'm this just is saying. So... yeah i appreciate you it's so sad this is so sad can people see this look at this look at the amount of fish that's millions and millions This is like, where did, where did it come from? That's the middle of the desert. And this is, they're trying to get up. That's the fish there, look. Look at that. You can't. This world is amazing, isn't it? In the middle of the desert. Come on now. Hey, we building. This shit crazy, but we ain't just going to stick on this topic. We're going to flow into some other stuff. It's crazy. Look at them going across <laughs> on the road. They're getting through. They're trying to get up and go. In the middle so of the desert. Beautiful. I'll be showing at Tenant Creek. This is the middle of us. Look at the birds going in for a feed. Oh man. The thing that's got me is where did this fish all come from? 
band up. Appreciate it. Well, guys, love yous, and I gotta leave yous because I gotta get to the desert. I'm in the desert, I'm going to another desert. Gotcha. Told you. When you're favored by God, you're also favored by the devil. He's coming for you too. <laughs> so you just gotta be strong and stay on the right side. Whose side you gonna go on? He's gonna give you power too. He's gonna get in your head too, but it's whose side you gonna stay with. You stay with who brought you here. Mm. You stay you go home with the guy that brought you to the dam. Um, God, do you, it tests you. He tests you. And see how, how much of this you can take before you say, let's just, just be finished with this. He wants to show you something. He wants to see how much you can take, how much you can handle for life. You say you love life, you want to live life. I'm going to show you life. Life is beautiful, but you have to accept the good and the bad as being beautiful. That's, that's the purpose of life. Just enjoy what we had, what we journeyed through it. We all do. Because sometimes we don't understand, like, what is this thing? What is my purpose? Why am I here? Why do I have to go through this pain? Why do I have to go through this fear all the time? Why can't it just be peaceful all the time? Then it wouldn't be life. You know, we have to live life on life terms, not on our terms. Mississippi News, Yazoo County, get out. If you live in Yazoo City, the levy is about to break. The Yazoo County Sheriff's Office just released this. Again, Yazoo. If you or someone you know lives in the East Brooks Lady Division of Highway 16 in Yazoo County, you need to evacuate immediately. The levy is about to break. Please share this with people that you know that live in Mississippi right now. Right now, y'all, evacuate. The levy is about to break. Please get this out. Share this. Post it on your Facebook. Get this out. People in Yazoo City, Highway 16, you need to evacuate immediately. The levy is about to break. Get out. Share this. No, it wasn't more than a couple years ago yeah, uh, during sure. the Democratic primary. And your boss, now President Biden, said during a debate, we're a nation that says, you wanna flee, you're fleeing oppression, you should come. We're a nation that says, if you wanna flee and you're fleeing oppression, you should come. They're seeking asylum. First time ever we've told people they can't come to America. That ends, the cage is closed. Those who come seeking asylum, we should immediately have the capacity to absorb them Keep them safe until they can be heard. What it was like at the border before you got into office and what it's like now. Good afternoon. Thank you for coming in. In the, uh, the weeks that this bill has been discussed and debated. It's clear that an overwhelming uh, percentage of uh, the American people, Democrats, independents, or Republican friends, have made it clear, the people out there, made it clear they strongly support the American Rescue Plan. Yesterday, with the final passage of the plan in the House of Representatives, uh, their voices were heard and reflect, reflect it in everything we have in this bill. And I believe this is, and most people I think do as well, this historic legislation is about rebuilding the backbone of this country and giving people in this nation, working people, middle class folks, uh, people who built the country a fighting chance. That's what the essence of it is. And uh, I'm gonna have a lot more to say about that uh, tonight in the next couple days and be able to take your questions. But in the meantime, what I'm going to do is sign this bill and uh, make the presentation tonight. And then Boy, shit gets scary when, uh, when when Mass Joe out here signing shit, you know. You know, he signed a crime bill for niggas and niggas still want to vote for him and stuff. It just be it just be a little crazy out here. But watch, man. Like, it's it, you got to watch what they're doing in front of your face while they give you distractions, too, as well. You know, run some shit back so we can put stuff in line, reverse it, rewatch it, you know, so we can really understand, understand what's really going on with the shit that they play with in our faces, though. Keep watching. And uh, there's going to be plenty of opportunities. We're going to be on the road not only talking about 
What I'm talking about tonight is the impact on the virus and how we're going to end this pandemic. And I'm going to talk at all the elements of the bill beginning uh, uh, Friday, Saturday, and through the week. So, thank you for being here. Got it. Thank you all. Appreciate it. But whoever be cutting this hair need their ass whooped, though. I ain't gonna hold you. They need their ass whooped severely. They know they wrong for that. And leaving the back of his head like that. <laughs> but when you get to a certain age, I guess you just don't give a fuck no more, do you? Just fuck it. Leave the back out. New York, 1997. The entire city is a walled maximum security prison. The bridges are mined. The rivers are patrolled. And the United States Police Force has everything under control. I'm going in. Yeah, it's old footage, but we build them, like I said. Watch. John Carpenter's Escape from New York, the high adventure of the future. One man must go in where no man has ever gotten out. John Carpenter's Escape from New York, the greatest escape of them all, is about to blow the future apart. This is happening now, and let me know, is it time to get out of New York? Take a look. It's crazy how I can literally explain and say that that was like, Oh, and we need to watch what they even did in the past and somebody will still say a stupid comment like that like what are you watching like are you are you we're live bro i can see you i watch the comments i see y'all saying i see dre peeping at the comments yes i'm watching the comments stop saying stupid stuff man if i block you the new york appellate division has ruled in favor of governor kathy hutchell in a we landmark case you. for government overreach rule 213 isolated quarantine and procedures will give the state of new york the ability to come into your home and Welcome to America, where Americans last and crippling the U.S. economy is their motto. A country where veteran homelessness is at an all-time high and you can come here illegally and get a luxury home. Maine builds rent-free luxury apartments for illegal migrants paid for by your U.S. tax dollars. Illegals this week began moving into a 24 one and two bedroom apartment complex in a town 30 miles north of Portland. Same, the construction of which came with a $3.5 million price tag. This program is happening through the Maine State Housing Authority. Maine Housing will essentially pay for the rent of these asylum seekers for up to two years. After that, they will be converted to a mix of market rate and affordable housing unless the state says the program needs to be extended, New Center Maine reported. The Democrat-run state will also give over $100,000 to migrants for a year's worth of asylum applications and work authorization assistance for their new program. And while all this is going on, veterans are being shoved under the rug once again. Veterans homelessness sees largest spike in 12 years, according to a report from the VA. The government has made empty promises to military service members, says Mission Roll Call CEO John Whaley. Veteran homelessness has increased by 7.4% in the last year for the largest surge in 12 years as revealed by the Department of Housing and Urban Development annual point in time count report. Not only is inflation and homelessness at an all time high, but there are several issues within the country that need to be dealt with first. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think about free housing being given out. Share this video and follow my page for more updates like this one. This is absolutely insane. I just signed up for this. Get Joe Biden out of Homeland office. Security ASAP. Majority. They say the price tag per year is $451 billion. billion. That is both for the housing and care of the asylum. Hey, you see what they're doing? 
is it making sense to y'all? Are y'all are y'all are y'all catching on to what's going on? You're paying your replacements. It's not just people coming over here seeking asylum and stuff like that, man. Like we can clearly see what it is because when we need something, this is like this is like I, right, for example, I'm making it make more sense. This is like you being you you you're being married to somebody, and they're cheating on you, and they spending money on a side piece, and it's just seems like they lost feelings about it. Once you catch them and you find out, they's like, yeah, I'm paying for everything for them. I'm giving them everything that I've never given you because I don't care about you anymore. These niggas is cheating on us, man. That's all I'm saying, y'all. They cheating on us. They giving other niggas our money. When have they ever gave us that amount of money, bro? Like, you're going to see it. Some of this shit is saying they're giving them 12000 a month. How many of y'all, let me know in the comments down below, how many of y'all have ever been paid $12,000 a month? It's not too many people that get paid $12,000 a month. Let's be real. Some people, like, come on, bro. Like, that's, that's crazy. But you can't get that. Okay, we're gonna keep going. Bro, as well uh -uh. as those known right here in Chicago, I spoke with Chris. You getting too smart? You know too much. You don't want to work for cheap. Now they gotta get other people. You know, finesse them, woo them, get them in here, and soon you're gonna be out of jobs and stuff like that. AI is taking over a lot of stuff. What you gonna be able to do? We got to figure that out. Dina Passioni Zayas, the city's first deputy chief of staff. She gave me insight on how the crisis is impacting the 9, a month. and the state financially. Already this week, 41 buses have rolled into Chicago, and that means there are now 11,000 migrants living in shelters. 4,000 are still sleeping on police station floors and staying at the airport. Now, this is really startling. 30% of migrants here in Chicago are children. Majority of them are attending Chicago public schools. Right now, the state is footing the bill for what they call temporary housing apartments and homes that are rented out for migrants. The state is paying on the high end $9,000. What they're going to do for you if you can't pay your bills, your rent? They ain't got too many programs that's going to help everybody. You're going to be trying to get into a shelter where the shelter is already going to be packed. Then you're going to try to get what? You're going to get a tent, sleep under the bridge with everybody else, and then they're going to tell you to move. What? 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 Come on, bro. Let's we're going to build. That's crazy. Rental assistance over a six month period of time. With that comes help moving in and a starter kit to furnish the apartment. That rent lasts for six months and ideally people would have um, started their legal process, secured legal work uh, from Mexico. Appreciate and then you, be Maker. able to sustain that apartment. And so the, the case, cost, or I guess the, the payment towards the landlord is based on market rate. It's based on the configuration. Security's working. No, encourage more. Now, watch this, watch this. this. Venezuelan migrant bragged about living off U.S. taxpayers' money. Confieso que a mí no me gusta trabajar porque me da alergia. Leonel Moreno encouraged more of his fellow Latinos to come to the U.S. The man urged his subscribers to unite behind the Times Square shooter. Necesitamos pagar la fianza. Capichi, que hoy cometió un error inocentemente. Thirteen thousand households. Many of these migrants live in humanitarian relief. This go to the faith base. Okay, issue here in the city. 
that $4.2 billion, $4.3 it may be now, that we potentially would have to spend, and we could put it back in the pockets of everyday New Yorkers, everyday houses of worship, instead of putting it in the pockets of corporations, and some of those corporations come from outside our city. We should this, we're disciplined, and we're executing on it. It is my vision uh, to take the next step to this, go to the faith-based uh, locales, and then move to uh, private residents. Uh, there are residents who are suffering right now because of economic challenges. They have spare rooms. Uh, they have locales. And if we can find a way to get over the 30-day rule and other rules that government has in, in its place, we can take that $4.2 billion, $4.3 it may be now, that we potentially would have to spend, and we could put it back in the pockets of everyday New Yorkers, everyday houses of worship, instead of putting it in the pockets of corporations, and some of those corporations come from outside our city. Absolutely. Like, like, do y'all understand that? Absolutely not. Like, I, how do y'all feel about, like, I understand, look, everybody that's coming over here, let's, let's, uh, let's address that. Everybody that's coming over here is not criminals and stuff like that. Not everybody, but there are, right? We know nothing about them. They don't even have IDs, nothing. None of that stuff. I understand us giving help, but we got to take care of ourselves first. We got to take care of us first before we start lending other people help. I get it that we need to help other people, but we can't do that. Well, where are we getting this money from? Where are we getting this money from? And then on top of that, they want they want them to move in with regular everyday people. I'm not like, not me. Let me know in the comments down below. Is y'all doing that? Y'all moving them in with y'all? Not not no strangers. Nah, I've helped. I, I used to do music back in the day, right? I still do music, and I collab with this guy from Argentina something went down in Argentina where they had to leave right he got split up from his family he hit me up I helped him move his family out I helped him get to his family you know we got his family out of there first and then we got him to his family you know he's in the United States now I don't want to speak on his name nothing like that but you know we can help people when you're in a position to help we can help but us as a whole we're not in a position to to help we can't even help ourselves right now food is so goddamn expensive even for me like food is expensive like everyday life is expensive. Man, they out here just, just cheating on us, man. Just, <laughs> just out here giving our money away, our housing and shit. Like it's crazy. But that's cool though, you know? Let's keep building though. This shit crazy. So I need you to say this. FEMA engagement guidelines, black church Protestant leaders. Now, apparently, the black church is automatically classified as Protestant. Probably only one or two people out of that Protestant church really know what the word Protestant mean. This means that you're classified as a denomination, whether you say you're a non-denominational or you're a denomination. They know your cultural practices. And when I say they know, they know what type of house of worship you utilize. They know who to talk to as far as leadership and how they address themselves. They know the governing body, such as first lady, deacons, elders, mothers of the church, so, so on. Then they know points of contact based on the type of belief system. This is where it gets interesting. There is a National Voluntary Organizations Active in Disaster, otherwise known as NVOAD. It's a nonprofit, and there are members to that nonprofit. You would never guess who the members are. Now, remember, this nonprofit is directly correlated with FEMA. They give up the information concerning the Black Protestant Church. The first church on the list is Church World Services. Here goes the list and the member communications from Church World Services. First on the list, according to alphabetical order, African Methodist Episcopal Church. What's the next church on the list? Episcopal Relief and Development. Y'all know what an Episcopal Relief and Development look like. Donate now. Oh, and then you got the National Baptist Convention USA, headed by these individuals. Uh, 
who's giving up all the information? Them niggas. Go. Them niggas right there. Now, I don't know what the <laughs> deal with this one is. The Church of God in Christ says they also have a relief arm known as Kojic Charities, but they're not a member to this FEMA organization. There's two pages. I think you need a part two. Let me know in the comments. To come to its city, apparently there's too many open jobs. Come up on the choice, voting rights. It's a voucher for $9,000. You know what? I come to Chicago too. And that's what they're doing. They're telling people and they're sending money back to Chicago. I mean, back to Venezuela to come to Chicago because they're saying, hey, the good times are rolling there. They're taking care of everybody. Trains are being derailed on purpose by the elites, the 1% aristocratic ruling monarchy, which are not rulers, but they're in charge. You need to pay attention because they're, they're using electric cars for a reason. They're going to electric cars for a reason. Simply because they want control over your life. They want control of your movements and they're going to get it. So don't fret, but pay attention to what's going on in the news. Pay attention to some of these quotes. A lot of them have validity. Very, very true. So pay attention. Uh, I'm telling y'all, you better start walking, running, and exercising. Because the cars that you got are going to be running too much longer. So if you got a Tesla, they have control over you. If you have an automated car, they have control over you. So they're going to take away all the transportation so that you cannot run. You can't go anywhere. They got the undergrounds covered. They got the sky covered. Wake up. Okay, so the craziest thing just happened. I was watching the live stream on the Hills YouTube channel for the Eclipse coverage, um, and they cut to one of their stations um, to get their like report on what was going on with the Eclipse. And one of the reporters uh, said something very interesting. I'm gonna let you guys watch and see. Um, I believe Jay Peak uh, right now is reaching totality. Let's uh, take a live look at uh, Isabel and Taylor's shot right now. They have the most incredible view. away from WSSS. I love that we're hearing the reactions, but apparently I do have one more shot of Tuesday. Hey, you see how he, he, he sl nigga slid in? Look, <laughs> this how it was. She was like, yeah, we seen another planet on there. and we'll, we'll. Hey, so let me interrupt uh, by saying that, uh, <laughs> yeah, she's talking too much, man. Let's run that back. She's talking too much. In addition to the moon over the sun, going to cut away from WSSS. I love that we're hearing the reactions, but apparently I do have one more shot of totality to bring you. Um, this going back to our NASA telescope partner feeds, and there we just entered it wherever this particular telescope is located. I just saw them take their filter off, and so here we He get on not, not knowing what the hell he talking about. He just dated. Hey, interrupt her ass! But she got down. Say to <laughs> we are witnessing this is the, the final shot that I have for you on this live stream of the Great American Eclipse, this April 8th, 2024, <laughs> totality across the U.S. So what do you guys think? Um, yeah, I don't know. Um, like, why would they cut her off? See, like, people could say that it's the devil's comet, but if it was, why would they cut her off right as soon as she said that? Things that make you go, hmm. Let me know what you guys think it was in the comments, guys, please. And tag a friend if you think they know what it would be. See you. She about to fuck it all up for him. <laughs> hey, her ass gonna be grass. Her ass gonna be fired, y'all. I'm telling you. <laughs> Uh, 
I mean, you see what you see. Look oblate to me. Hey, y'all know what we need to do, though? We need to, uh, we should probably do a fund, right? And we need to send, I, I fund like half of it. We, we need to send our own balloon up there with our own camera. Do some lit shit like that for the channel. I would want like everybody to be involved. Like how many people be on the lives? Like, well, we got like almost 11,000 people on here, man. Of all 11,000 of us show up, we put in a dollar, what a dollar a person. We can send us a balloon up with a camera. That's how easy it is. But you know, we don't be working together. We can do that. Meet up, send a balloon up together. It'd be lit. We can see for ourselves. How y'all feel about that? Let me know in the comments. How y'all feel about that? I put up half the money. What we only need like what like five thousand more people to send a, a dollar? <laughs> Shit. I I even supply the camera, so I'm paying for more. Like for real, look it up. Google that shit. Whatever, do some research and you'll see it, how much it costs and we can do it. I'm, I'm dead ass, I'm dead ass too. Hold on, I'm gonna go to this other one. Got to take a copyright out there, John. The act of eclipse. This is the that's more than a star, but it's flashing and pulsating. I see that. But what is going on with the moon, you guys? Why is it like that? Look at that, y'all. Even with a closer shot, why does it look like there is this is weird, y'all? Do you guys see that? How weird is this? What is going on here, y'all? Th this looks like they're what hold on hold on could that be the moon and then there's a light y'all saying let's do it all right look I'm, I'm i'm with i think that'd be the realest that'd be the realest any youtube channel has done like that do what i do like come on man send that shit up there bro we can figure it out ourselves we 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 man look we put a couple cameras on that joint bro so we so it's no mistaking what we find this is a light shining under it. This is so weird, y'all. Why is that so bright? When has the moon been this bright? When has the moon? This is not it, y'all. But yeah, y'all. And it keeps changing shapes. Y'all see that? And then this. Look at that. That. Keep in there. Appreciate you. And this. Oh, man. This is crazy. All I can say is very interesting times that we live in right now, y'all. We're going to see it all unfold right in front of us. All I know is everyone has been telling me that the energy is off. They feel some type of way ever since this solar eclipse. And we are seeing so many anomalies happening around the solar eclipse. So hey, pay attention to the, the so-called eclipse. Now, they're going to pull out an artificial sun. There's going to be an artificial sun that come in and people are going to notice it. Watch. You're going to be able to see the artificial sun. Look what's coming in now. Look, check it out. Watch. To cover up what was really there, what never left, it's never going to move. Look at the artificial sun. Look. 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 Now that never left. The dark never left. People know. Look at that. 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 Look at
They know they're paying attention. What is this? That's an artificial sun. They put in front of what was there that wasn't released. What was that all about? It never left. Nothing went to the side, nothing left, nothing. The artificial sun. Well, as y'all can see, clear as day, they brought the fake sun out. Whatever it was that went in front of the real sun, you know what I'm saying, which I already kind of got a clue what it was, you feel me? You see the real sun right there, the outline of the real sun right there. They bought the artificial sun on side of it, you know what I'm saying? I know y'all seen China already launched their artificial sun, will make y'all think America, you feel me? This is what they did to, to cover up what was really going on, because that never left. That, that, that black ship, black, whatever y'all want to call it, it never left. It was going to stay in front of the sun. It was going to still be dark. They bought the artificial sun. That's where the light came back instantly like that, bro. You feel me? I'm just giving y'all the truth of the game. An artificial solar eclipse. All right, let's get to this wordplay so we can get to the patents, the pictures, and where you can find this. A chronograph is a telescopic attachment designed to block out direct light from a star. Well, thank you, Dre. Appreciate sun. everybody. If you Google chronograph, it's going to say stopwatch, time writer. You know how they used to be able to tell what time it was due to what point the shadow was during the day, the NASA is manipulating time. If the natural sun is not passing by and they send by a fake sun, a fake Seriously. eclipse, China has something to do with this as well, or any other fake celestial bodies, such as European proba, will, will create an artificial eclipse. Pay attention to the wordplay because they mm. use a temp. A lot of times. Are y'all serious? So when they use the words like, <laughs> Hell yeah. will mimic a natural solar eclipse, look at one, look at two, and then read three. This is real, y'all. It can't get more real than this. Go to Google, Google Proba 3. Do your due diligence, y'all, because I did mine. And if it wasn't for other people doing theirs, I wouldn't have even been able to find this. But once you go to their website, scroll down. If you want to yeah, look at the fair. images, you will find what we were all looking at you will see the technology that these evil scientists that's what i'm calling them have created and you remember those direct energy weapons same companies i got the names of all the companies i got the location of all the companies now we can we can go deeper and dive deeper into this y'all but here was our eclipse that we all came out to see made by nasa Thank you for her, man. She did her due diligence and now I'm doing mine. Go look at her Instagram, she got it. And it reads, we are pleased to announce the launch of a culture and coronagraph probes today, April 8th, the day of the eclipse in North America. Another coincidence, I guess? All right, just a recap real quick. Let's see how many coincidences we can cram into this one little block. We have this company, ESA out of Belgium, who ironically also makes a sun simulator. They also have a mission, Proba 3, that entails two probes named Occulter and Coronagraph. Their mission, to artificially create solar eclipses. They launched those probes, Occulter and Coronagraph, yesterday, April 8th. The researchers claim that they use the North American solar eclipse to Chris, test Christian. their mission's hardware. Again, I do not believe April 8th's eclipse here in the United States was naturally occurring. But if you do, and you can chalk all this up to one giant coincidence, you probably thought the vaccine was safe and effective too. Hey, you remember when we were talking about that, but everybody, oh, it's going to be okay. And then they, they came out and said it like, yeah, we, we lied to you niggas. And yeah, now you got poison in you, but it's cool. People don't want to listen. Appreciate y'all donating for the fun, though. That's showing me that y'all serious. Even if we don't get to that, bro, I'm just going to be right off the top with it. I, I want to do this anyway. So, I mean, I'll let y'all know exactly when, where, or whatever, and y'all can show up, and we can launch this thing, and we can get it cracking, though. Like, this shit gonna get crazy. <laughs> y'all wanna know why I reside Jamal in jail? Think about it. Y'all wanna know? Play the video for you.
y'all gonna see the military, they gonna be shooting at this energy, y'all. But then you gonna, you're gonna see the second sun in the sky, and they gonna be no, this is what I'm telling you, they're gonna try to shut the internet down, because nigga, everybody gonna see this shit. Tomorrow, the internet gonna be shut down. At the same time, and there gonna be no way they can hide, nigga, and they, and they wanna keep coming. It's gonna be bigger and bigger and bigger solar flares coming, nigga. Each one is set to, to further raise our frequency. And once they hit that, once that, once, remember, just like when we go out the sun, we feel that. Oh, shit, been about this shit. Like, you feel charge. Imagine how you gonna feel when the solar flare you can't even explain it. From regular walking people to this superhuman ability which already been in you, it saves fake. Meanwhile, due to the law of the cosmos, they have to show it to you free will. So they put this shit on your face every day. You gotta do your shadow work. Work on yourself and forgive yourself. Because that's part of this radiation. This radiation gonna be so strong, y'all. And if you, if you don't forgive yourself and you're not working on like that love frequency, it's going to really be hard for you to breathe in that shit too. Even if you're one of the guys and guys, you know why? Because you haven't been around this real radiation your whole life. You know what I'm saying? Your whole life, they had you eating meat just for this moment. The meat is going to make it hard for you to move through this. That's why you got to clean. This is what I'm trying to tell y'all. Start working on falling back off the meat. Tomorrow y'all you know start saying? clean. It's going to make it hard. Body. It's going to, it's going to, it's going to, it's going to fuck with the ions in your body. So that means it's going to put you in a lot of pain. So you, it's going to force your body to shift. It's going to, it's going to force your DNA to strip itself of all the programming. And that shit going to have you in pain a little bit. That radiation. And this radiation is coming in a few weeks. Y'all are going to see it with your own two eyes. Yes. Ain't going to be no, it's here, but you can't see it. No. You're going to see it. You're going to see the radiation with your own two eyes. Your pineal gland is not going to have to be open, nigga. And it's going to be green. And it's going to come across, it's going to be coming across our atmosphere like delta waves. And you're literally going to hear the energy. It's going to be like, Literally everything he was saying is happening. Like, how did he know that way before it happened? Y'all let me know. Man, the real cool that is locked up. Still. Listen, oh yes, listen. you did. You did that, fam. The real cool that is is it's locked up still. The real cool that is in the in the island. It's on the island somewhere. But I'm not finna expose nothing. That's just what it is. He told y'all. He and he told y'all. I told the magazines when he said I told the magazines when folks got me in that article. Nigga, you better go listen. Kodak Black told you they don't be when celebrities get locked up, nigga, they ass get took in the Antarctica under the ice, nigga, and get programmed and all type of shit, nigga. When they don't do what that contract said. That's why Kodak Black said, I told the magazines they got me in Antarctica. Da -da 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 -da. Them folks be digging bonkers up. Them folks got weather control. Where the hell think Hurricane Harvey from? But they only got two more years of slavery to do harm to us, nigga. He said that in 2018, man. He was tapped in with the ancestors, see? And they had y'all thinking he was dumb. And how blast the show at Jesus. The true reason why Rashad Jamal got locked up. She like she don't see it. Just keep paying her ties to show at Jesus that she mean me. Damn, the CIA called me a leader. So they study my lectures, they admire how I'm thinking. They somewhat eating mangoes, letting my speeches tango. They want to know how I know stargates is rainbows. About the underground cities they own and shit. About the Mach 5 synthetic clones and shit. And how black folks never came on the ship. I'm talking independence, that black ownership. And how black folks never came on the ship. I'm talking independence, that black ownership. For real. I started. I, I started go for me for it. I see y'all comment, but it's crazy how he was speaking on this way before this shit actually happened, though. You know, crazy. That's something that you can't disregard. I look at all information. That's how you 
get to where you're trying to get to. The moment you get in your feelings, if you get into your feelings when you're reviewing information, it's going to be hard for you to navigate to, you know, find the find whatever you're looking for. If you got certain things that will just turn you away, you know, what I'm saying be real talk, though, that, that 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 helps me out a lot because I was once in a position where I just didn't want to. If you said something about something I ain't fuck with, I didn't want to listen to it. And therefore, I was missing out on a lot of information. You know. Appreciate y'all donations. I'm gonna start a GoFundMe though for this shit though. Real talk. Moses, appreciate you. Like I say, y'all, only resource I have to demonstrate a real eclipse is a light bulb and a black marker. And I actually uh, darkened one side of the light bulb and I kept the other side light. And uh, actually, the moon doesn't the moon doesn't pass. The moon doesn't pass the sun. What actually happened is the sun and rose tape. So if it rose tape this way, it's going to look like the sun is coming. Yeah, Dr. York's work, for sure. You see what they did to all of them. Painted them as the same thing, too. Coming from this way and passing the sun. And if it's rotating this way, it's going to look like it's passing that way. And if it's, from, if it's rotating this way, it's going to look like it's from coming from that way. Either way, it's all actually is the sun working as its own eclipse. Now let me show you how it works. This is the best I can do, y'all. I'm working with a light bulb. Okay. And what the sun does, it takes a 180 turn. Okay, let's do that 180 turn. Slowly. Support. Appreciate you, Larry. All right. Sorry, I can't get to all y'all. What this nigga watching? Like. <laughs> But that's clearly what that's we just saw. It's what everybody been looking for as far as the eclipse. Music now, blue, appreciate it. After a little while, after it takes its turn, we re appreciate turn, it. It takes another one in a turn to get back to the a point of light to the earth, which is shining through the ice down. Look at that. Now, as you can see, the eclipse is leaving. Brightness. Larry Oda, appreciate you. And the sun is taking its toll. And there you are, if you keep going. Now, if I was, if the, if, the, if the sun was rotating to the left, then the eclipse would come from. Appreciate you. And there you go. Once again, we have our sun right in our place. And that's what I want to show y'all what eclipse is. Thank y'all. 
I appreciate y'all time. I hope y'all understand what I'm trying to show y'all. Love y'all. God bless y'all. And I don't know one thing, y'all. Keep God first. And you know what's crazy about that is? I think a lot, it's a lot of brilliant people out here that have a, a lot of good ideas. You know what I'm saying? I say this. For his theory, I think it's definitely, uh, you know, it's something to look at. I'm not saying I believe it, but it's, it's very interesting at that. Because when you do look at the sun, you see that when they zoom in, it's white. And you can see the black spots. Those are the spots that, uh, you know, the solar flares come from, right? Like, oh, yeah, I remember we, we, we talked about solar flares a lot on this channel. See the big ass black spots. Those are the solar flares. That's where they come from. When that sun turn and it's all the way black, what is it doing? It's giving off of what? Big ass solar flares. They say we're getting what? We're getting upgrades. We're getting frequencies. We're getting plasma. Whatever you want to call it. That shit is hitting the earth in a different way. It's, it's changing us. You can even look it up too, man. Solar flares has effects on our DNA. They say that we have what? A lot of what? Junk DNA. It's not junk DNA. They just, you know, don't know what the hell they talking about. At some point, I believe, just me, I think something's going to happen. I don't think things are automatically just going to change just like this. I think we're going to see a lot of things happen that we're going to have to naturally evolve, like evolve to. We're going to have to become smarter. We're going to have to evolve, you know, because we. one thing I know, we can't completely keep going like this, man. The money system is crashing. You see uh, the government cheating on us. With some new niggas, uh, you know, <laughs> we then turned us in, then turned to kick us out the house and, and turn us into some side pieces. You feel me? And we got to We got to We got to We got to get it back together. We got to team up. We got to we got to we got to do our thing. You feel me? We got to put our heads together and rebuild our civilization. But I think we need to be smart. We don't need to be radical and thinking everything is a fucking conspiracy. And this person is after me because he's an alien and that's a lizard nigga right there to live across the street from me. We, you know, it's good to look at these videos, but at the same time, we have to be reasonable in our approach. You know what I'm saying? That's it. That's all I'm saying. I be getting a lot of messages from people, so that's why I be, that's why I'm saying this, y'all. Like, it's a lot that goes on behind the scenes and what people, I, I, I'm not knocking what people believe, but damn, you know? Some people crazy as hell. I'm just going to say it. Be crazy as, as a motherfucker, boy. But it's cool. But yeah, definitely, let's get back to this balloon situation. We can send that damn balloon up and we can see for ourselves. We can definitely live stream it for sure. You know, uh, if 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 some if y'all want to show up to it, I'll I leave the invite open for y'all. But uh, we definitely going to send that damn balloon up. That's one of my biggest goals of this year, 2024. Because I'm tired of people talking. If the shit round, what y'all gonna say? Y'all gonna... It, if it's oblate, then it's gonna be oblate. It's gonna be whatever we see. We, can we agree on that, though? Can we all agree on that? I'm not one of these people. Just because I'm in... I, like I said, remove your feelings away from this. Once we see what it is, it's not coming from no other agency. It's, com it's gonna be coming from us. We the ones that do this. We the ones that's gonna do this. So this is a group activity. So therefore, we in this shit together. Some people, you know, still won't believe it when we see it. You know, I think I'm going to tell y'all right now, I'm going to stand on this. I think that is more of a ovlate spear. I don't believe that it's completely flat, but I, 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 I believe that, you know, I don't believe that it's round, though, either. By far. No, I don't. But it is what it is. It even said in all the ancient texts and the Bibles and stuff like that it is what it is. But we're going to fuck around and find out. That's all I got to say. You said no round? I mean, y'all think it's flat. Put, 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 put flat if you think it's flat. Round if you think it's round. I want to see. I mean, we're going we gonna to see. I'm waiting. Some of y'all probably can't even spell that shit. <laughs> I'm just waiting. <laughs> I'm waiting. Yeah, the dome as curvature. Yeah, for sure. That's why I'm not counting the dome as uh, the curvature. None of the curvature. I'm just talking about the simple land that we're on. I get what you're saying, though. Let's tell the truth. End of the story 100. Yeah, real talk. You said, like, the donut? Yeah, that's, yeah, that's where I'm at with it.
Oh, most people think that joint flat. Okay, that joint's shaped like Miley Cyrus, huh? All right, I see what y'all doing. Flat. Damn, flat. We got them flirters in the house. Sphere. Not sphere, okay. You said it's not flat? Okay. I mean, everybody's opinion is cool. Everybody got one. You feel me? Damn, but that flat is going crazy. The earth is on Miley. All right. All right. No, 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 no. Well, one thing is we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna, we're gonna find out for sure. That's the goal of this year. Probably in the next, uh, what? I should give it like another like month or two, and we can send that balloon up. Appreciate you, Paul. I'm now. Nah, I'm excited about this year. Make sure y'all looking this stuff up too. Send me what y'all can find. Um, one thing that I do need to find is uh the type of camera that we can send up. I don't necessarily. I, I don't know if I want to send a, just a GoPro up. I probably want to send up a better camera. Because GoPros, man, like, you know, the footage can be warped and stuff. I need a better quality. And then also we need something that could stay connected to the Internet. So it's going to be a lot of moving parts with this because we, we want to set up the stream for it. Right. Not just the video. So if we can set up a stream for it, I don't know how that's going to work, man. We got We got to figure that out. But I'm excited about it and we're going to get down to the bottom of it. But I'm excited about it to, you know, take this to the next level, this channel to the next level, which I. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and uh get off of here, y'all. And I'll holler at y'all in the next video. But y'all know what the next one could be about, about the war that's being started. But we don't know how far that's going to go. It's not out of, we're not fear mongering over here. We're just going to show y'all the straight up action and what's going on in the world. But I appreciate y'all. Y'all stay safe out here. Make sure y'all drinking y'all chlorophyll, distilled water. Y'all getting y'all some sunlight, exercise, you know, get y'all blood work. You know, make sure your vitamin levels is right. All that shit, you know, stay up, stay healthy for you and yourself and your family. Real talk. Keep your senses open because, you know, when animals start to walk uphill, go with them niggas, bro. Go with them because they, they're still more connected to the earth than we are. But we're getting back to it. And I appreciate y'all. Stay grounded. We out of here. Like I always say, spread love because there's too much hate in this world. Love you guys. See you in the next video. And we out, though.